See, we can like hold the camera up there. Muhari Natural. Beep, beep, beep. By Bold Bean. <laughs> <laughs> the air horns. Welcome back to another Fellow Drops Brew Guide. Today we have Bold Bean Coffee Roasters Muhari Natural. This is a Rwandan coffee, which is something we haven't dropped in quite a long time. Yeah, I think it's the second Rwanda coffee that we've ever dropped, actually. Yeah. And I've, we've been waiting for this moment, honestly. I mean, a lot of great coffee comes out of Rwanda. We just haven't seen a whole lot of it in yeah. a recent, the recent year. Mm -hmm. we're, we're really happy that we're able to share this coffee with you all. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how this coffee tastes? It's pretty bold. <laughs> Maybe if it's I'm... the bold bean. I'm sorry. It's not even really bold. I just had to say it. I, I can't resist, you know. Um, no, it's actually, it's really true to form natural. It's going to be like that fruit punchy front. It's got like this uh, jamminess to it, this jammy jelliness to it. So this week we're doing espresso again because we found that this coffee also lend it, lent itself very nicely to espresso, but at a slightly different ratio, right? So instead of last week, I think we did a 20.5 to 30, 35 grams yeah. out. Uh, today we're going to pull out an 18 grams in, um, 35, 36 grams out, and then um, right around the 30 to 33 second mark. So a little bit pulled back. We mm -hmm. wanted to thin out that jamminess a little bit while still allowing that fruitiness to come through. And it's a little bit quicker, right? Because we're gonna really, really mm -hmm. lean on, lean into that sweetness that's in this natural. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who are looking for a pulver recipe, please reference the one that we have in the description below. And if you want a more detailed explanation, please check out any of our other videos. We are just following a fairly standard recipe for pour over, which is 22 grams in, 350 grams out, uh, somewhere in between three and four minutes with like a medium to a medium coarse grind. On, and on Ode, that would be setting two to three. It has been interesting. These coffees that we've been trying these past few weeks have uh, been lovely as espresso. And what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna try it straight as well as we'll finally pull out some milk and we'll make a cortado. Oh yeah, I am craving an oat milk cortado with a natural. I just really want the whole berries and cream vibe. <laughs> so like, this is selfishly just as much for me as it is for all of you. Mm. So thank you guys. Yeah, and from what I've tasted, I think in that cortado, this is gonna taste like a strawberry milkshake yep i'm into yeah. it let's do it all right I'm let's do it for it all right so shall we let's do this not going to pre-infuse and go quicker oh man that was way too quick Turbo. 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 <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna try it. It should taste fine. We're gonna try it. I think it's gonna be great. So that right there, my friends, was what we call a turbo shot. And visually, might not look the nicest there, uh, especially if you're looking, or you're really used to looking at, I'd say traditionally looking espresso. Yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Yeah, we're gonna give it a, cause like our original dial, remember, right, was, 18 grams in, uh, 30, 18 grams in to 36 grams out at around 30 to 33 seconds. This one came out just before, like right around 20 seconds. Um, 36 grams out still and 18 mm -hmm. grams in, so yeah. very much quicker. Yeah, so with these quicker styles of shots, a lot of those fruit notes are gonna come out way, they'll, they'll be way more present just because of the style of shots, turbo shots, look it up, it's cool stuff. The science is pretty cool, I have to say. I did look it up, and that's why I'm not afraid of that anymore. I was really afraid when Brian first told me about a turbo shot. My barista brain was like, what do you, what do you mean? It's like, oh, it's not but loud. That just goes to show you that there is so much learning to be done in coffee all the time, and there's so much sub subjectivity and new ways to enjoy coffee. So like, I don't know, open your minds. <laughs> But in this espresso, despite the original recipe, we were we went a bit coarser than before. This espresso is actually quite nice. Yeah, and I did go a little bit coarser than before because I thought that I had 
perceived some changes in a as the as I mean like really though like because the sun is the sun is uh, tr going down right now, uh, but I thought that atmospherically. I just wanted to see what would happen if we went a little bit coarser. And, uh, you know, I'm not afraid of turbo shots anymore. So I was like, why the heck not? Take a yeah. chance. I Take mean, a chance. You know, turbo shots are ugly, but turbo <laughs> shots visually, not the prettiest shots out there. However, this specific coffee, I think is actually quite nice as a turbo. I like it. So <laughs> <laughs> turbo I, shots are ugly. Brian Kwan, 2022. <laughs> yeah, but it is, this is really great because I'm getting that strawberry that's coming out. It's the first thing I'm tasting here. And then it finishes nice and sweet. There is a little bit of floralness and a, just a little bit of jamminess in this coffee. No channeling though. Mm -mm. But and we're gonna make a cortado here. That's what's happening here. Uh, but uh, what you may want to look at is if you did actually uh, tighten up the grind instead of pulling a turbo that happened in around 20-ish seconds and you did pull to the original recipe 30 of 30 seconds. to 33 yeah. seconds, you would get a much more pronounced jamminess. Here, you're getting that strawberry and I love it. And now we're making cortado. Oh, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna make this. This happens so fast. Uh, barista <laughs> right here is, uh, I'm just talking about this coffee and we already basically have an entirely uh, separate drink now to enjoy. And uh, wow. Gonna make the heck out of this coffee. Or this, I'm gonna make the heck out of this cortado. And then I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm so excited. Let's get this milk steam wand ready. You're gonna sh show us your beautiful latte art. Ooh, let's see. It's been a while since your girl has poured. <laughs> that would be me. Um, <laughs> since I have poured, but let's see what I can do here. I'm going to use our Eddie steaming pitcher. This is a fellow design Eddie steaming pitcher. I absolutely love these because they're super angular and they're really, really great. Not only for getting that whirlpool of integration when you're actually steaming, but they're great for pouring because of this spout right? Instead of the crease kind of cutting off like it normally does mm -hmm. right under the spout or like an inch under the spout, it goes all the way down almost to the base of the pitcher itself, making for super, super clean lines. Mm -hmm. I also love the freestanding handle and the thumb stop. Yeah. And also we have markings on the inside that tell you the fluid ounces of milk you add, which is very, very useful. Minor Pardon. figures, fun yeah. stuff. Yeah. Minor right. figures, barista series, oat milk, um, it's balanced so that it allows for flavors in coffee to come out instead of being masked by the oat milk. All right, look at that. A uh, little leaf. Little leaf. Happy spring, right? I'm gonna hold it up to the camera that we have up here. No, but I want to drink it. Oh, no, but I want to drink it. Look at that. All right, we've All right. You've I'm seen so the beautiful latte art. She's she's kind of cute. Yeah. What does it taste like? Wow, no, it really straight up does taste like a strawberry. <laughs> yeah. cake. It really like brought me back to childhood for a second wow. there, because I think that's probably the last time I drank a strawberry mm -hmm. milkshake, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's a strawberry milkshake without any of the dairy. Um, the definitely such strong red fruit vibes, raspberries as well in there. Like, I don't know, I'm getting something else that I can't put my finger on. Probably the oat milk, the... Oh yeah, you know, well the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, this oat milk is pretty sweet in, in my opinion from uh, oat milk, in the landscape of oat milks. But not too sweet and it's, it's definitely, uh, I forget what the science was, but it's definitely balanced so that all of that kind of, the characteristics of the coffee aren't masked, which mm -hmm. is there. Yeah, attention. I mean... That... Love you minor figures. <laughs> yeah, but that's what's really cool with uh, coffees like this is that by themselves, even if you turbo them or you are drastically off on your grind size, yeah, you this... still get a drinkable and you still get a really great result. And yeah, because this was a quick shot too. And like the body is still there, even in the mm -hmm. oat milk, like it's still standing up to the oat milk in my cortado. And it like, yeah, I mean, body is still there. And it was yeah. a quick pull. Yeah. And if you did grind, if you did grind a little bit finer than the two shots we showed you today, and you did target that 30 to 33 second long shot, you would get a lot more jamminess, especially in the straight espresso. And then, if, and then in milk, that strawberry note will just be a, a little bit it's more masked, I would say. A little bit more muted, I mm. would say too. Like not, not so much masked and not so much like mute, like not so much like on, on mute, but a little bit muted. Yeah. But <laughs> if you do want it straight, turbo is a, uh, 
pretty viable options, what we'll say. Yeah, I mean, that was great. Yeah. And this was bold, bold beans, beans, Muhari, natural. natural. Yeah. Rwandan natural. Second time we've ever dropped a Rwandan coffee. Yep. And this was lovely. And we hope you try this out. If you have any questions, please let us know. Check the description for those recipes. Interact with us in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for spending time watching the video. We'll see you next week. And also remember, it's super easy to order from Fellow Drops. All you have to do is text us back. Um, text us one, two, three, however many bags you want. We won't judge you. We're just going to send you however much coffee you tell us to. So super easy. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. Thanks, y'all. See you later.